mountainous jungles of the northern Thai border, the secluded home of a rare and hidden sect. An order of horse-riding monks dedicated to a life of spirituality and simplicity. These are the guardians protecting one of Thailand's most treasured traditions, Muay Thai or Thai boxing, a martial art that's now famous throughout the world. The Golden Horse Temple is a monument to Muay Thai's roots. Prad Chao Sua, the Tiger King, was the man who created Thai boxing. The reason we worship him is because he was a great king and used the principles of Muay Thai to govern the country. Those principles are handed down to young disciples who are taught the original training techniques of Muay Thai. Using only what's available in their jungle camp, the young boxers have to skip to avoid being trapped by the bamboo poles. The emphasis here is on agility and movement rather than brute strength. Deep in the jungles of northern Thailand is a monument to the close links between Muay Thai and Buddhism. But the monks here say that the deep spirituality that used to exist in the sport has now almost completely been lost. Modern Muay Thai is now very different from the martial art it came from. Dominated by television coverage, advertising, and underground gambling, some say it's lost its path. The principles of order and self-discipline are no longer dominant in the sport. I think they now forget it, what is the root of Muay Thai is supposed to be, that I said. Okay, they forget about discipline, they forget about uh, to meditate, to make their mind happy. But back in their jungle training camp, the monks still follow the ancient ways. They prepare to spar in the same way as they have for centuries, binding their hands rather than using gloves. In the past, these bindings were reinforced with glue and broken glass. For the charismatic abbot, a former military officer, Keeping these traditions alive is a question of national pride. In the past, when the country was being established, it faced many hardships. There were lots of threats from the neighboring countries, so our ancestors had to invent martial arts to protect themselves. Now the monks are fighting a different battle to protect what they see as one of Thailand's national treasures and ensuring that no matter how popular Muay Thai becomes around the world, the principles at its heart remain true. Tony Cheng, CCTV, Chiang Rai, Northern Thailand. <laughs> Oh, man.